presents...
this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. Shark back in. And hey, oh my god, what a forearm! Nice with a jaw. Looking a little out of it up on that turnbuckle. Now, this could very well be the beginning of the end. Superplex! Oh man, did you see the impact? Challenger starting to falter. So many variables for him to take into account here in this Tornado Tag Match. If history shows us anything when it comes to Bret Hart, it's that an opponent doesn't want to try to match technical skill with the man called the excellence of execution. Bret Hart is getting punished here. He must try and turn this match around. State getting completely dominated here, people. He goes down hard. Sting was just a step behind there, guys. What's he gonna do with it? Corey, you brought something up earlier, and it needs to be emphasized. The superstar does not want to try and outmaneuver the hitman. Bret Hart knows where he is in the ring at all times. So if I had a match against Bret Hart, I wouldn't put things like go hold for hold or try to match grapples with him on the top of my list of things to do. In fact, I wouldn't even consider such things against the hitman. here in this Tornado Tag Team match. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. Oh, look at this amazing power. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. There he goes, crashing to the floor. In control here with a... Set him up. Nasty impact. Bringing it back between the ropes. Keep your eye on this one. Look out! Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. Bret Hart and the Hart family will always be 
revered in sports entertainment. A few of Brett's most critically acclaimed roles were part of the cast of the hit Western series, Lonesome Dove, and The Simpsons in a theatrical version of Aladdin. The excellence of execution is also a best-selling author and owns a hockey team in Canada appropriately named the Calgary Hitman. Bret Hart does it all in and out of the ring. He doesn't stink up the joint like every place you go by.
of madness. Call it arrogance, ignorance, call it what you will, but believe me, the Macho Man will make sure you experience the madness in all its fury. You've been warned. Oh, clothesline! seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. If you look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, and Chris Jericho, they continued to push the envelope and executed unbelievable attacks from the top of the cage. And watch Rikishi take flight off the top of the steel cage. Wow. Thing of the big moments in Randy Savage's career. I think of WrestleMania 3, when he and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat stole the show. Uh, I'm not sure Savage wants to remember the match because he ended up losing, but it is considered to be one of the greatest matches in WWE history. It may be one of the first show-stealing performances at a WrestleMania, too. Beautiful technique. Oh, impactful slam. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. To inject my opinion on that classic between Savage and Steamboat, I'm still mad about it. Randy was about to finish off the dragon with the ring bell, but George the Animal Steel interfered. Uh, you may be the only one with that feeling, Corey. Little trivia about that highly touted match. That was the first time the Intercontinental title ever changed hands at a WrestleMania. Superplex! Man, this might be it! Oh my! The height on the knee drop from Macho Man. Boom, right in the button! The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. And sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do in order to survive. Boom, what impact! Nailed it! You gotta believe this one's over! 
Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will be resolved within the 15-foot high steel walls that surround the ring. And that losing a cage match can mean much more than a mark in the loss column. For some, it has meant the end of their career. It's difficult to describe the damage that can be done to a superstar who competes in a steel cage match. We see the physical harm, but we don't see the psychological effects from being inside the cage. Make no mistake about it, Mike. The steel cage truly represents survival of the fittest. There have been a lot of romances in WWE, but few had the genuine emotion that Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth shared, especially when they got married at SummerSlam in 1991. Shut off clothesline! Vicious strike. Oof! Oof! Axe handle finds its target. Scoop slam! Here he harsh impact. The challenger simply will not be denied. Uh-oh. The tide might be turning. To echo Michael's sentiment about Randy Savage's wedding, it isn't uncommon for love to be found in WWE, but nothing compared to Randy and Miss Elizabeth. That match made in heaven got ugly at the reception, however, when The Undertaker and Jake the Snake showed up uninvited. I guess all that love and sunshine can't last forever. Suplex! He knows he's in trouble. If he sticks this, he is done. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two met inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. Vertical suplex! Nice! Just a step quicker, it looks like. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain-link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall submission or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history, at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. Thinking of big moments in Randy Savage's career, I think of WrestleMania 3, when he and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat stole the show. Uh, I'm not sure Savage wants to remember the match because he ended up losing, but it is considered to be one of the greatest matches in WWE history. And maybe one of the first show stealing performances at a WrestleMania, too. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. To inject my opinion on that classic between Savage and Steamboat, I'm still mad about it. Randy was about to finish off the dragon with the ring bell, but George the Animal Steel interfered. Uh, you may be the only one with that feeling, Corey. A little trivia about that highly talented match. That was the first time the Intercontinental title ever changed hands at a WrestleMania. You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Well, you said something of value for once and that anything is legal inside the steel cage. To that point, something else we've seen over the years is interference. Whether it's The Undertaker coming up through the ring or John Cena getting bashed in the head with the cage door from the outside, it's all legal in the cage. Oh boy, he is rolling. Somebody unleashed the Savage. What a slam. Impactful. It'll jar your spine. Let him jump down. Macho Man can win it here, guys. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. Harsh impact. Backbreaker. And look out. Boom, what impact. Oh, oh neck breaker. Can he finish him off here? Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. The champion. And only a one count. Not yet. to the gut. Oh, brutal form. What a stomp. Good grief. Uh-oh, he's
he's in trouble here. He's teetering on the edge here, trying to make beautiful technique. Oh man, the champ looks absolutely out of it right now. Today, Macho Man's night. For most of his life, they've called him the Macho Man, and true words were never spoken. Sure, Randy Savage is as macho as they come when he steps between the ropes, but also one of the most sensitive superstars around when it comes to Miss Elizabeth. He's an enigma. These superstars look determined to destroy each other here tonight, which is what you would expect, I guess, when the goal is on the line. Goes down hard. has absolutely beaten down these superstars. The challenger in some big trouble here. At this point, his confidence has to be at zero. I know he doesn't have any quit in him, but now might be one of those times where you take the loss and live to fight another day. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next to make a mistake. Superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. <laughs> Given their performances tonight, it's too bad one of these superstars has to walk out of here on the losing end. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Ooh, what impact. Boom, what impact. Nailed it. These superstars wearing the rules right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. Boom! <laughs> you gotta believe this one's over! This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. The 
it's about the prestigious world title. Oh my God, he's done it. He scored the win. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. This was another great moment.